I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting questions and asking for some interesting things. Now I've compiled few requests. There were many from grade 8 and 9 students. They wanted to know how to isolate variables. So here is collection of few formulas which you'll see in your textbook. I would like you to pause the video, copy these formulas and practice how to isolate variables. Correct? Now for some of the viewers who are new to algebra, let me explain them a bit. What you see here is set of equations, many equations. Equal to sign will mean equation. All this these alphabets lowercase or sometimes uppercase are called variables. Now these variables are connected in some way or the other with some operation addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. We have also taken square and square root. Now when I say isolate each formula or when I, when I say rearrange each formula to isolate the variable indicated. I really mean that the formula is d equals to s into t. You need to isolate s, right? So what is s equals to, right? See, the formula is a equals to a plus b times h divided by 2. You need to isolate h. So I hope that concept is absolutely clear, right? Now, only in this example, for multiplication, I have written that sign, but normally we don't write it. So if I write mx, it means both are multiplied, right? So prt means all three are multiplied. So i, that is interest, is equals to principal amount, rate of interest, and time. That's the standard formula. You need to isolate p. So I hope the concept is clear. And you have copied all these questions. I'd like you to isolate variables and then look into my suggestions right so let's begin to solve them one by one by solving i really mean isolating the required variable correct okay so the first one is d equals to s into t we say distance equals to speed into time what is speed that is what it is so to isolate what we will do here is we will divide both sides by t. Since we need, we want to know what s is, right? So first step is divide both sides by t, since we want only s. So it becomes d over t equals to s times t over t, right? Now, as you can see, we can simplify this. t divided by t is 1, right? Since t divided by t is 1, we can write d over t equals to s. And so we have isolated what s is. So s is equals to distance d over time t. Is that clear? So that is what we really mean, right? So when we say isolate variable, we mean in this formula, rearrange so that you can find what S is directly. Perfect. So here is a very similar question. Uh, all these three terms are multiplied. We want to find what P is. So what should be your first step? First step should be, since we are writing I equals to PRT, we should divide both sides by what is not required, R and T we have to isolate p, right? So both sides you will divide by r and t, right? So clearly on the right side of this equation, r cancels with r, t with t, you're left with i e over rt equals to p or principal amount p is interest divided by the rate of interest into time, perfect. And you have isolated and from a given formula, you have actually derived another formula. Do you see that? That is what we are going to do. I hope the concept is now clear to all of you, right? So now you can answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. 
v equals to u plus a t you need to isolate u we use this formula to find velocity we say final velocity equals to initial velocity plus acceleration into time well let's see how to isolate this kind of or rather how to rearrange this kind of equation to isolate variable since we want u and we do not want a t we'll take away a t from both sides so we can write this as v minus a t equals to u plus a t minus a t is that clear now a t minus a t is zero so you are left with u on the right side v minus a t on the left side of equal to sign and now we can write what u is in terms of velocity v acceleration a and time so so i hope this concept is getting clear perfect so it was simple operation where we did kind of reverse operation right so we reversed everything which is added we added negative of that and if it is multiplied we are going to divide perfect let's look into this y equals to mx plus p you need to find what m is now this equation is used for equation of line right okay mx plus p what we need really is to isolate m so first take away b from both sides so we get y minus b equals to mx plus b minus p now b minus b is zero so we get mx equals to y minus b now i want what m is so i'll divide by x on both the sides so i get y minus b divided by x equals to mx divided by x or we can write m equals to since x and x will cancel correct you're left with m equals to y minus b over x is that clear right so that is how you can isolate now in equal to sign you can put your variable on left or right side it doesn't matter it's one of the same thing however it is a practice to isolate means keep it on the left side by default so it's preferred to write this equation as m equals to y minus p over x so i hope that part is clear so in most books you'll always see that the variable which you want to isolate is written on the left side of the equation perfect now let's see the other two equations now as we move on things are becoming more complicated perfect now here a equals to a plus p times h divided by 2 how are you going to isolate h well first step should be to multiply by 2 right and then what okay we say cross multiply so we could say cross multiply okay this is my first step so i'm writing this as 2 times a equals to a plus b times h now i need to find what h is so we can divide by a plus b on both the sides right so we'll do 2a divided by a plus b equals to a plus b times h divided by a plus b perfect so a plus b and a plus b cancel and we are left with h equals to 2a over a plus b well you can now write down the formula with h on the left side but for me i'll just leave it here is that clear perfect let's do the next one we want to isolate l i think you can do it easily first step is let's divide by 2 so we'll do p divided by 2 equals to 2 times l plus w divided by 2 now this 2 and 2 will cancel what i mean by cancelling 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 times anything is that number itself so we get p over 2 equals to length plus width we want to find what length is so let's take away width from both the sides we get p over 2 minus width equals to length plus width minus width and so we get length equals to half of p plus width right so that is how we can write length as now some of you can actually go one more step and you can always write length equals to 
take this as a common denominator so it becomes I'm sorry this was minus both sides minus right so P minus 2 W over 2 right so you could even write it like this is that clear right so that could be your final result so that is how we could do it now let's move forward and take a few interesting examples now in these examples we will have terms with squares and square roots we need to rearrange each formula to isolate the variable indicated g a square plus b square equals to c square we need to find what b is so first step a square plus b square we could take away a square from both sides we'll say minus a square equals to c square minus a square right so what we get here is b square equals to c square minus a square now to get b we will square root both sides now square root is something which is reverse of square right so when you square root you get let me show you here right so we do square root of this and we do square root of c square minus a square right now we are keeping it simple for the time being and we are saying that all a b and c are greater than or equal to zero right so normally we use this formula for a right triangle so so we are working in a very special condition where length of each side so length is positive so we are keeping them positive uh, we are not putting any negative sign at this stage is that okay so we'll keep it all positive and then move forward so square root this is reverse operation so you get b equals to square root of c square minus a square right so that is what you get perfect now here also we will assume that h and r are both real numbers and they are greater than or equal to zero okay so uh, that is important to consider now at higher level you will also see that we may have equations where it could be any value so there we'll get plus and minus signs so i'm not getting there now is that okay so we are limiting ourselves to introduction to this basic topic right so we are saying introduction so remember we have some restrictions to work with so that i don't really confuse you right so think that height h and r are real numbers greater than zero or equal to zero is it okay so let's begin we need to isolate r now can you do it let's rewrite so we have volume equals to 4 over 3 pi r square we want to isolate r right so we don't want h pi all those things on the right side what should i do i should definitely multiply by something which will leave only r term here right so i could multiply by 3 over 4 pi do you see that 3 over 4 pi in that case 3 and 3 will cancel 4 pi will cancel with 4 pi perfect that's what i'll do so i'll multiply by 3 over 4 pi is that clear right that's what we do so sometimes it could be complicated as you can see here right uh, but i hope with this example it becomes absolutely clear that any equation is very easy to rearrange and get the other part right it's not very difficult okay so we get r square so let me rewrite we get r square equals to 3 v over 4 pi so what should be r r should be square root of all this right so r is 3 times v over 4 pi is that clear so that is how we could isolate r and let me write r as square root of 3 over 4 so that is kind of reciprocal of 4 over 3 right times v over pi so i'm just writing the two variable parts pi is a constant uh, kind of separate but this is better good enough okay the only thing is i just took r on the left side so that is how 
v are isolating variables correct so let's take uh, the last two examples now here again we have the terms with squares and square root the equation is to isolate u in the formula d equals to ut plus half a t square and time equals to 2 pi square root of length over g you need to isolate g by now you must have learned all the techniques i'd like you to pause the video and solve this question yourself and then look into my suggestions okay so let's isolate u from here so first step is we could also think about writing the equation as ut plus half a t square equals to d now it's one and the same thing whether equal to sign both sides left and right are equal you could just interchange all of them okay we want to isolate you so this term i am subtracting so sometimes we can straight away write right since if i write minus something minus something that thing cancels so i could straight away write ut equals to d minus half of a t square is this step clear so basically I did minus half of a t square both sides right minus half of a t square now this became zero so you left with u t perfect so when you go to higher standards then that is a preferred way of doing and save some time so do it only if you have understood all the steps okay now to get u we are going to divide everything by t right so so what we do here now is to get u we are dividing this by t we are just dividing d by t and we are also dividing a t square by t right so what we get here is u equals to d over t minus half now from a t square one t gets cancelled right so we get half a t is that clear so that becomes the formula for initial velocity after rearranging uh, the displacement formula is that okay no this is the last question which is very tricky you need to isolate g so here what we will do is we'll do cross multiply right so so cross multiply okay let's do it in like this we'll first divide by 2 pi so we'll first divide by 2 pi both sides so we get square root l over g equals to t over 2 pi so we just brought it down or divided both sides by 2 pi is that clear okay now we could flip right so we could also write this as 2 pi over t equals to square root of g over l we want to isolate g now we can square both sides right so so if you square both sides I mean to say square right like this like this so if we square both sides what do we get we get 4 pi square over t equals to square root and square are reverse operations so it will be left with g over l and now we can write what g is we can cross multiply right so g is equals to 4 pi square l over t t right so that is how you could rearrange and write what g is is that clear so i hope with this you learn few techniques of working with variables to rearrange an equation and isolate variables feel free to write your comments and share your views post questions if you have any on this if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best.